What is up fellow gamers, welcome back to my channel, it's your boy the Spartan and in tonight's video I'm gonna be talking about uh, some gaming freebies, a little bit of uh, gaming news and some gaming deals. So as usual without further ado, let's just jump right in. The first thing, uh, Super Meat Boy Forever is free on, Epic, on the uh, Epic Games Store. It should have been uh, Fallout 1, 2 and uh, Fallout Tactics, but they've been pushed for later this year, not sure why. They were slated for today, but Super Meat Boy uh, took their place. Still, regardless, it's, it's, a, it's a very good game. It's a nice little uh, platformer. And it's free, so free is free, right? <laughs> if you're interested or if you're just a game collector, Regardless, again, free is free. Moving on, uh, there's a new bundle on Fanatical. And the reason I am uh, talking about this specific one today is because of two games. Uh, you can pick two, three, or five games for the, uh, the prices you can see on screen. Um, but two, uh, two specific games caught my eye and you can get them, like you can pick them and uh, only pay 7 euros for, for them both. Uh, the games in question are The Evil Within 2 and Dishonored, uh, Death of the Outsider. These two games are definitely worth 7 euros right now, if this is something that may interest you. There's a lot, m there's many more games in this um, in this bundle that you can pick but like I said these two really caught my eye because in my opinion out of this whole package these two stand out as being the the better ones let's say uh, so yeah if you're interested head over to Fanatical and uh, as always I will link everything in the description down below for ease of uh, for ease of access. Uh, there is oh yeah, and uh, almost forgot there is a publisher sale from 2K. They're holding a publisher sale event on Steam, and basically all of their games right now are discounted. Uh, like Civilization, like there's a there's a shitload of stuff. To, to browse through you got the uh, uh, wait give me a second here you got a shit ton of franchises you got the Borderlands franchise 2k sports Bioshock franchise XCOM franchise uh, you got the Mafia franchise a shit ton of 2k classics yeah there's a lot of stuff here there's a lot of good stuff not all of them are golden but most of them most of them are definitely worth it and that especially at these discounts hell yeah uh, what i didn't check is how long this will be held for uh three days no nope sorry uh march 7th okay is this the case for everything let's see midnight suns uh view page and March 7th, yep. March 7th, that's like... This is two weeks. Oh. Okay, so this will... Uh, this whole event, this whole 2K publisher sale event, will be held for two weeks. That is... <laughs> if anyone's interested, that's more than enough time to uh, do your homework, so to speak. Maybe see a couple of trailers, some uh, before you buys, some gameplay stuff, maybe... You know, maybe something catches your eye. Because this uh, this event is definitely worth a... Uh, it's worth a check. Alright, uh, moving on to the second and last bit of uh, today's video, which is the gaming news section. Starting off with... Um, something from Sam Cauley from Gaming Bible. Apparently, Assassin's Creed Black Flag player count triples following new release. 
Now, what are we talking about here? Simple. It's about skull and bones. And it's... I don't know about what to call it. It's successor, it's predecessor. <laughs> um, Black Flag. Because technically, Skull and Bones was slated to be a DLC for Black Flag. But for some reason, a little over a decade ago, Ubisoft decided, hey, let's make a game out of this. Now, the idea itself was amazing. Still is amazing. Problem is, what we got. So, yeah. Uh, Skull and Bones was supposed to be the ultimate pirate life game. At least that is what was advertised. So, this is not taken out of context. This is what they advertised. They, they fucking, they, they just called it a quadruple game. A couple of days or weeks ago, I think. And on numerous occasions, not just once. This whole quadruple A game shit regarding Skull and Bones, it's been circulating the fucking internet for quite some time now. And uh, yeah, apparently it has been picked apart and mocked since, yeah, they promised it will be a quadruple A game. Big fucking mistake. Like I said, when you say Ubisoft, it's basically one step forward, ten steps back. So, like I said in the previous video, they added a permadeath mode to uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage, which is really interesting. Adds a little bit of uh, flavor, let's say, to the game. That's, that's the one step forward. And in terms of ten steps back, well, there you go. Skull and Bones is the perfect example. Uh, all the uh, disappointment surrounding Skull and Bones has led to an enormous increase, however, of players for Black Flag. Wouldn't you know it? A game that released over a decade ago is still a hundred times better than this crap that we've received today. Uh, so yeah, the game's concurrent players on Steam have reportedly tripled. We're talking about Black Flag. Whereas Skull and Bones is seeing less and less players and it's being bombarded with negative reviews. Because that's exactly what it deserves. It's it's not even a triple-A game, let alone a quadruple-A. <laughs> I don't even know what, what the hell Ubisoft is thinking. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Video Game Chronicles Chris Scullion tells us that Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is currently the second highest scoring Final Fantasy on Metacritic. And only Final Fantasy IX has a higher average score. So, hell yeah. This is how you release a game. Uh, in uh, VGC's uh, review, they called the game an utterly massive RPG pushed to its limit. And these guys have a good track record. I mean, it's, it's VGC. If you don't know VideoGamesChronicle.com, if you don't know their, uh, their website, their uh, reviews, their videos, their tweets, everything they do, their work, basically. Uh, if you don't know it, then you should catch up. Uh, these guys are on... You know, these, they're, uh, they're genuine. They're, they're fucking OG. No question about it. And like I said, they called the game an utterly massive RPG pushed to its limit and an overall excellent RPG with some of the best characters in the gaming canon. So yeah, you, should, you can definitely take that to the bank. If you're interested in Final Fantasy VII Fantasy and still haven't gotten it, now's as good as time as any, I would assume. If, of course, you can afford it. Okay, uh, moving on to GameSpot, where Mark Delaney says the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which, honestly, I haven't really seen much about on the internet. Regardless, the, the game is adding a, um, well, the devs are adding a horror legend in an upcoming DLC. Problem is, though, like I said, I haven't exactly seen too much or any of this game. I, mean, I'm, I just picked this uh, specific news article to basically shed some light on the fact that the game this game exists <laughs> because 
uh, like I said, it's, I don't know, something, something's going on with the marketing department or maybe I'm living under a rock or something. But you don't really see too much of the game, of this game on the internet. So yeah, like I said, I picked this article to, uh, to let others know that, yeah, this game was launched and it still exists. <laughs> anyway, uh, the devs are adding another original character uh, to its uh, survivor um, roster, or in the case of this game, victims as they're called. And the character's name is Virginia. Most notably, she'll feature the voice and likeness of Barbara Crampton, which is a prolific horror actor uh, who has been featured in many horror movies spanning several decades. Hell yeah, kudos and GG. Including retro hits like Reanimator and From Beyond. As well as some uh, modern favorites like Your Next and We're Still Here. So, yeah. If you're, uh, if this is something you might be interested in, if you're a fan of Dead by Daylight like me, uh, Friday the 13th, which apparently is, uh, as far as I know, is kind of dead in terms of community, but still. If you like these types of games, uh, yeah, definitely uh, check this out. And the last two uh, articles will be from IGN, both of them from uh, Wesley Yin Pool. The first one is about Palworld, who has sold 15 million copies on Steam in just a month. Let that sink in for a second. <laughs> Anyway, the uh, developer, Pocket Pair, uh, they've announced that this Pokemon with guns, as it has been... I don't know who the hell called this Pokemon with guns, but it stuck. <laughs> it definitely stuck, I'll give them that. Um, so the game, uh, the, the crafting and the survival, the... yeah... I mean, this is what it is. It's a game about crafting, survival, and a few other things. It's seen over 25 million players since going on sale last month. And the Steam version has sold an incredible 15 million copies, like I just said. And on Xbox, it's seen 10 million players. So, do the math. These guys know what they're doing. And last but not least, Elden Ring sales uh, swell to an incredible 23 million. And this is coming directly from the horse's mouth, Bandai Namco. So hell yeah, as part of the uh, reveal of the hotly anticipated Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC, which is due out this June, uh, the devs, Bandai Namco, issued a sales update for the base game which last everybody heard had sold 20 million a year after launch and now we're seeing 23 million and again the dlc is coming out in june so it's probably gonna spike even more uh to put everything into context hogwarts legacy which last year in 2023 was the best-selling video game, sold 24 million copies and generated well over a billion dollars in sales. So again, do the math, but this time for Elden Ring. And you're gonna come up with some numbers that holy fuck. <laughs> Goddamn, but they deserve it. They deserve it, it's from Soft, it's by Namco. These guys know what they're doing, what they're developing, what they're releasing. Everybody's on track here. No comment. Except kudos for, for everybody involved. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. As usual, everything I talked about will be linked down below for easy access. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And until the next video, take care, stay safe, have fun. And never forget, a Spartan rises as soon as they've fallen. Have a good one. Bye-bye.